morning, YouTube. Here with you this morning, we're going to uh, head to the local CVS to get me some medication. Um, I take a arthritis pill. It's also for malaria. <laughs> so that's the one I'm out of. So how we go real quick and pick that up. I'll take you along for the ride. I know it's too exciting, but you know, that's just kind of the way I move, or shake, move and shake, I guess. I always take the back way. I don't like going down this road here. It's really rough for one thing, but for another thing, it's just, there's stoplight there, busy, tra busy traffic and everything. I just go the back way. That's the way I prefer to go. I think the uh, trains in this town are only run at night now. Uh, that's the only time I hear them. Laying in bed, I'll hear the trains go through. But uh, daytime, I don't really hear that. It's kind of weird. Uh, not totally weird. That's weird. Not much going on today. It's a uh, Thursday. close together so traffic is kind of light this morning not too much traffic <sighs> didn't really want to get out this morning and get these pills but I put it off and put it off I've been out of them for a couple days I don't like to stay out of them too long I had to take the start to take the uh, I can't even, I can never think of his cocoa gene or something like that, that uh, he first prescribed, my uh, rheumatologist first prescribed for me, and that knocked out the uh, attacks, gout attacks, whatever kind of attacks they were, were, and I was doing great, and then he called this other medicine in, which uh, I never didn't understand why, it didn't seem to do anything, but you know. And then last time I, I visited him a couple months ago, oh, it was like about a month ago, I guess. But he said that uh, I should stop taking the cocaine, and I did. And it was about a week after I stopped taking it that uh, I started getting the attacks again. I've got one of my finger now; it's really, really sore. My middle finger, my right hand, and I started taking it again. I, I'm not gonna put up with that crap. And so, like I said, I did. And uh, let's see if I can get in there with my son truck, the red one there. 
Oh yeah, we're going right in. So I'm gonna turn this off now until I do this. All right, I've got that taken care of. On the way back home now. Not much going on. I was thinking about getting some breakfast, but you know, I, I'm still full from last night. I had Skyline Chili. I don't know, a lot of you people probably don't know what Skyline Chili is. Uh, I'm from Cincinnati though, originally. And that's the home of Skyline Chili. Uh, Three-way chili. I don't know if you're familiar with that or not, but it's definitely a different uh, acquired taste, I guess you'd say, but I grew up on this stuff and I love it. But, uh, anywho, uh, the sun is bright. I bet you that's going to be knocking out the video pretty much. Uh, we'll see what happens when I go the other way here. Always when I take my uh, use my debit card there at CVS, they have the awfulest time getting it to swipe. The only place I can get it done really easy is Walmart. When I go to Walmart, they have no problem swiping the card. Everywhere else I go, seems like they have a problem with the card. So I don't know why. Uh, I've seen them use uh, the plastic bags. They, you know, use that to scan the card. I don't know what that does, but sometimes that works. Sometimes it just takes a, a faster, or slow scan, whatever, but it's just very difficult part to, to read, I guess, but it's always a problem here. So anyway, Houses. There was an old house there, big, big old house, and they tore it down. The new two new houses, then two smaller houses. Urban renewal, I guess. Yeah, I talked about the other street being rough. This one's rough too, but at least you don't have to stop and blow it. It's just an old concrete street. Most of them over the concrete, but this one hasn't yet. Grandson's going to work today, so I guess I better not run into the garage. Alright, well, let me get off of here and get in the house and get my medicine took, and we'll talk later. 
All right, back in the house now. Uh, I want to try to uh, put some of this vinegar. Now this, uh, maybe this is what everybody was talking about, a weak solution. This says diluted to with water to 5% acidity. Now I don't know if that's going to be what I want or not. Uh, my granddaughter picked this up for me yesterday. didn't feel like going in. So, I don't know. We'll try it and see. It's all I can do. Um, get me a Q-tip here. See how this works. Again, it may not do anything. I don't know. It may work. I don't know. It might. Can't ever tell. T try it. So let me get some vinegar, vinegar on here and dab a little bit on there and see what it does. Well, the green's coming off. I don't see any bubbling. Guess I could show what I'm doing, huh? I'm really not sure. I, I don't know if this is going to be what's called for on this. I think probably straight vinegar would have been better than this. Or maybe this is all they got. I don't know. I don't really deal with vinegar very much. Smells like vinegar, I can tell you that. Or that may be the reaction with the uh, alkali, I don't know. Whatever it is, I can smell something. I'm not getting a lot on the q-tip, don't seem like. I do have a brush, I could use that, try that, see if that helps any. I just don't think it does much. Maybe just my imagination, I don't know. Sure didn't bubble up like I thought it would. I've seen uh, YouTube videos where this stuff just bubbles like crazy when it makes contact with it. So let me try this brush. think I don't think it's doing doing much I wonder if I should pour some on I'm just thinking maybe I should soak it I've got some butter bowls I could pour that vinegar in there I guess and soak it in there see what happens I don't know I just didn't seem like it did much there maybe it's just neutralizing and that's all it does I don't know I've got some build up stuff there. Let me try some more dabbing. See what it does on this. That's definitely a bigger concentrate of stuff there. Yeah. If it's bubbling, it's not bubbling much. I think that 5% uh, acidity, uh, acidity is not what I wanted. I think I want the full acidity. Uh, maybe that's why Maybe that's why it's not working so good. Everything I saw on the um, the, the read on the uh, online said it's not supposed to be diluted with water. So uh, I think I'm doing everything wrong I can do here. So like I say, uh, I think I might just have a 
the wrong kind of stuff. It seems to be taking it off, but it's it just doesn't bubble up like it did on the video. So not really sure why. Or anything like that. So I think I'm going to soak it. I think that's what I'm going to do. Find me a, something to put this in and soak it. I'll be right back with you in a minute. Now right, I've got it in a butter bowl. Down as far as it'll go. I'll pour this, fill this up with the vinegar and let it sit. It either works or it don't work. One of two. Let that sit and see what happens. I do see some bubbling. I don't know if that's just from pouring it in or, or what, but there's some bubbling there. Like I say, we're going to let that sit for a few hours and see, come back to it and see what happens. If it seems to do anything, I'll turn it over there on the other side and let it uh, work on that for a while. But, uh, for now, that's about all I got. I think I'm, you know, smelling it. That's that's definitely vinegar, but like I say, it just, I think it's been diluted too much. I don't think it's that what I wanted. So, anywho, I'll, uh, like I say, it does have a strong odor to it, but that's the vinegar, I think. So, we'll let that, I'm gonna brush a little bit here, see what this does. Seems to take it off a little bit. I don't know if I use the metal part or the fibers. I don't know. sit for a while. See, I'll come back to it a little bit later. I'm going to upload this and uh, we'll uh, do a comparison later when I get it done. So, thanks for watching.